motivation to do a lot of things i don't know if i'm the only one on this table there are some days where i lose the spark the zeal the motivation to do productive stuff you know and today happens to be one of those days not just today for some time now i've discovered that i've been a little bit dormant in certain areas of my life where I think I should be productive. Taking a look at my YouTube channel, when I started the channel newly, I was so motivated. I had the zeal, I had the hunger, the spark, the energy. I had everything it takes to film videos, to dish out content. But lately, I've been feeling some kind of demotivation and I can't really say what and what contributed to that. But then it is not a good thing. I'm a kind of person that gets easily bored and tired of things. Once I don't begin to see the results I need, I begin to lose motivation, I begin to lose the zeal or whatever it is that pushed me in the first place. I don't think this is the time for me to begin to give in to the pressure. And this is not the best time to quit. We just got started. So why do we have to quit anyway? There's no room for that. Winners don't quit. And I'm, I don't think this is a stage where I'm supposed to start feeling so reluctant to put to good use all the things I've been learning and been trying to practice over the time. I feel like the best way for me to be able to tackle some issue is talking about it. And I don't think there is any other place I can talk about this if not in front of my camera. Because I know that there are people that are out there that understand exactly what I'm talking about and sometimes i used to feel like i need a manager i need a pa i need people that would push me people that would you know push me to do things but the truth is that i can't be able to afford to pay for any of those services typically because i don't have enough money for that and that is why i need to work okay then coming to work there is no motivation for the work and it is so bad it is so so bad how will i not be able to break the chain of not having money if i don't work guys we really need this motivation so in my quest to seek for motivation i went to make some research okay i was able to come across some points that i feel like they made some sense and one of the points i saw was that i should be able to recognize the problem yes and right now for me the problem is laziness i can't lie about that laziness is a problem and you know when laziness sets in, it has to come along with procrastination. Coming along with a lot of sluggishness, you know, reluctance, lack of zeal, anxiety to do what you're supposed to do. You get, now I know my problem is laziness. It is not to tackle it. That being said, the second point I saw was to speak to the problem. Okay, let me assume that I'm talking to laziness. You laziness. I am sick and tired of you. I don't want to have anything to do with you again. Please pack your load and leave my life. I am tired. I want to be productive. I want to make it in life. I want to hammer. I want to blow. I cannot do this if I have you in my life. If I have you in my life, how will I be able to blow? I can't do all those things with you in my life. That is why I need you to leave. Please leave me alone. Sometimes I feel so lazy to even exercise. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening to me? I really want to break the chain of laziness in my life because it is not a good thing at all. It is doing me more harm than good. And I'm tired. I'm technically tired. Okay? I just want to be left alone. I just want to be free to do things on my own terms. I want you to look at me, Mr. Laziness, please. Leave me alone. I am tired. Okay? <sighs> Haven't spoken with laziness. Laziness has gone. So another point right now is to take action. Yes. And that is to say, 
I need to start doing those things that I have been feeling so demotivated to do. You get? Because I feel like actions follow motivation. No, no. I feel like motivation follows action. I really need to push myself up and start to act the right way. My sister got this, um, she got this job opportunity that is so promising and she has to apply for it. But she didn't have any motivation to apply. And I kid you not, if she had applied for the job, she would have gotten the job. But because of the fact that there was no, there was no motivation for whatever reason that I don't know, she wasn't able to apply for the job. So being able to back up actions with motivation is a way forward. And I think I need to start putting action into anything. If you want to do one thing, don't wait to be motivated. Just do it. You get because there is no room for backwardness ahead ahead you go another point i was able to discover is to take a moment and write down my life values you know um every human being has a value yes every woman being has a purpose and the purpose of my life is not to be just there me being able to write down my values and being able to remind myself each day and each time and take a look at it is also a big way to motivate myself and to stay motivated because when i keep seeing those things that i've written down i have seen that i've not even gone as far as trying to make effort to achieve those things on my own part i begin to make some personal assessments as to why i haven't been able to make a move in actualization of those purposes i think i really need to get a very big diary to make all those adjustments because i know that there are a lot and lots and lots of things that I really need to achieve. There are lots of goals that I have in mind, but how can I be able to motivate myself enough to be able to reach those goals? I can't just wake up in the morning and go about normal routine and then go back to bed without making efforts. It is an error. One thing I know is that whenever a business venture or whatever investment is being started, the reward doesn't come in the beginning, but it comes later on. So I have to keep reminding myself that this stage is a stage for investment, investing my time. Though the money is not rushing the way I expect, but then I know that in the long run, that everything is going to pay off in one way or the other. And the biggest reward for all these things is just looking back at yourself and seeing that you are able to achieve what you have been able to set for yourself. We should just give ourselves a break, take a break and celebrate our wins. Celebrate the success, celebrate it all. You understand? It is not easy. Thank you so much for being there to listen to all my rants and everything and i thank you so much for understanding and i hope you were able to get one or two things from me and if you're one of those people that are here with me and you are yet to subscribe to this girl's channel please kindly do so i'm super excited <sighs> i'm so sorry i think i'm getting hungry so thank you so very much for staying with me, for being so patient enough to be with me to this very point. I am so glad to have you here. So, if you have other tips on how we can be able to overcome this spirit of lack of motivation, please kindly share with us in the comment section. It's very much open for you. And I'll be so glad and so elated to learn from you too. Okay, thank you so very much. And see you next time. You do sometimes see